All right, guys, welcome back to Burning Rubber Garage. Today we're under the Camaro, getting a new battery. I've got Justin here with me. Uh, what we're doing is uh, we're having issues with it starting. Uh, when it's not fully charged, we're uh, shut it off. It really struggles to start. It was a 540 cold cranking amps. It also been about five years old, so it uh, served its purpose. Just got a brand new battery. We're up to uh, 800 cold cranking apps. Plus, we're filling up the tray. The other one looked more like a lawnmower battery. Uh, we've got a little bit of a fitment issue here, and then we're going to figure out a way to secure it down, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. But uh, we'll show you what you can. Some people are afraid to change their own battery. You shouldn't be. Something simple you can do. So uh, come along with us. We'll do a quick battery swap. This will be a short video. but. All right, we're going to go ahead and throw the uh, negative on. Slide the battery down under. We got enough clearance. It's got uh, probably about a quarter inch with it held down. We should be good. Take that. You want to get it fairly tight. You don't need to crank the crap out of it, especially on these older cars. You can really break some stuff. Trust me. Good. We got that guy in. We'll slide it in. Look at the fitment here. Look at how tight that is. We got. That might not even be a quarter of an inch, but with it held down tight, we won't have any issues. So let's go ahead and throw the positive on. This does have a full sound system in it. You can see the wires running right back there. We'll maybe take a look at that ground in the trunk in a minute. But for now, let's go ahead and throw the uh, positive on here, which is an awesome positive because who knows why. It just How do you think we want to do that? Does that work like that, or is that stretching them too far? No, you should get it. That's fine. The bar might be in the way. This one doesn't have your normal. Normally, you use your, uh, uh, on this one, we used a half inch. But this one takes a, was it a six? Six. No Alan, I don't know if I have another one, but we'll figure it out. Bet I do in one of my kits. I just don't want to short that. <laughs> short what? Positive to ground. You're going to be in for a treat. For a nice, fun treat. Uh, let me see if I got something out. Yeah. Going here straight here. Uh, that's, how to, that's how to do it though, huh? There we go. Good enough. Money. Good enough. So now that we've got those secured, we'll go ahead and try and figure a way to hold the battery down, which shouldn't be too bad. It's held down at the back. We're just going to have to figure out something to probably hook to this clip in the front. So uh, a pad in between here if we wanted. We can probably, yeah, we'll throw a pad down there. All right, guys, one thing you're going to want to do is probably give your battery a full head of steam, charge it up. We're using a big boy charger. If it wasn't, we weren't going to go drive it real quick, we'd probably... Just use the trickle charger, but we'll set this guy on a fast charge pace. Uh, it's a good idea to probably give it a nice slow charge, but we'll do what we can do in the short time while we're looking at that sound system. So, Schumacher. So this is the Schumacher one. What I like about it is it says the percent of the charge. So right here you've got your, uh, I'm not sure what that is, like a deep cycle. There's like your, kind of like a trickle charge and then there's your fast one. It automatically detects what type of battery you got, whether it's standard, AGM or gel. Uh, right now we're at 77%, so it's, it's enough to start the car. So we'll just let this go while we're looking in the trunk, so. All right guys, welcome back. We are going to show you how to test a battery and test an alternator. Um, here on your meter, you're gonna have a few different settings. This is a non-auto sensing meter, so what we're going to do is here on the right, that V right there is going to show you your AC voltage. We're going to be over here on DC voltage. Um, we have a DC battery, 12 volt battery, so we're going to take it here. I want my, my meter, since we're not auto ranging, we're going to set it to 20, so we're going to be on a 20 spot. Um, take your leads here. You have a positive and a negative lead. I'm going to stick my negative lead over here, my positive over here. Testing our voltage here, we're at 12.92 volts, which is good. It's what we want to be. Um, when we're going to go and test now the alternator, we're going to take our positive lead, put our positive lead on our battery, and our negative lead over here on our alternator. And we'll be doing that when it's running. So let's fire this bad boy up. Fired up. You're gonna see our 
voltage is gonna go up a little bit. We're right where we wanna be, 14. So that's good. Pretty good. Yeah, so if you guys need to check it, it's a good way to tell if it's your alternator or the battery. Uh, good indicator is the sticker right here. Uh, the last one said 5 of 12, and it's uh, got, they usually have a shelf life or a, a use life, especially on something like this of 4 to 5 years. Uh, keep a battery tender on it, keep it charged, you can extend that, but with it being old, sitting a lot, the battery tends to run itself down. Uh, we have a bigger alternator on this because of the sound system, which I still haven't decided what we're going to do with. So thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, put them below.